Welcome to the level 2 video on the modulus function. Today we're going to be talking about solving equations involving the modulus function. And let's jump in and have a look at it quick example find the solutions of the equation the modulus of 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 and our solution to this So let's start off by drawing a quick graph. So these are our axes for x and y. Now let's first of all draw y is equal to 5, so the right hand side of that equation. And then let's plot 2x minus 1, so we've got a gradient of 2, and it's going to cut the x axis when x is a half. but then it's the modulus, so we can continue this with the green line and then we reflect the green line back in the x-axis. So the blue line here represents the modulus of 2x minus 1 and the red line represents y equals 5. And these are the two we want to solve and we do this in the following way, so we must solve 2x minus 1 equals 5. And this tells us that x is 3. Okay, and the other equation we must solve, so we must also solve minus 2x minus 1 equals 5. And this tells us that x is is minus 2 and we solve the positive one because the right hand side of the blue equation we have there is the x equals 3 and the left hand side is actually the negative version of that equation so we have to solve minus in brackets 2x minus 1 which gives us x is minus 2 so this is the point x is minus 2 and this is the point x is 3 So our solutions are x equals 3 or minus 2. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. Find the solutions. of the equation the modulus of x squared minus 2x minus 7 is equal to 8 and our solution to this so let's go ahead and make a plot here, so again, uh, let's draw our axes x and y, and we're going to use a red line to represent y equals 8, and the blue line can be our quadratic x squared minus 2x minus 7. And I'm going to continue below the x axis using the green line and then reflect this using the blue line because it's the modulus. Now it's useful to plot these things because you can actually see where all your solutions are going to be. And here we've actually got three solutions because that reflection actually touches the, the horizontal y equals 8 line. So the equations we have to solve, we must solve 
x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 8. So we get x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. This can be factorized x minus 5, x plus 3, which tells us that x is 5 or minus 3. Solving the positive quadratic, so here is x equals 5, and here x equals minus 3. We also must solve the negative part, so this is minus x squared minus 2x minus 7 equals 8. So we get minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0, which factorizes as x minus 1. x minus 1 equals 0, which tells us that x is equal to 1 with a double root. And this is exactly here. So this is the solution x equals 1. So our three solutions are x equals 5, minus 3, or 1. Another example. Solve the modulus of 3x minus 6 is less than or equal to 12. And our solution to this is the following. If we rewrite as minus 12 is less than or equal to 3x minus 6 is less than or equal to 12. So this is just solving the negative version and the positive version, but all in one line. We can add 6 to both sides. So we're going to get minus 6 is less than or equal to 3x, which is less than or equal to 18. And then divide by 3 gives us minus 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 6. And that's our final solution. So as long as x is within that range, the equation is satisfied. Let's do another quick example of this. So now solve the modulus of 7x minus 11 is less than or equal to 120. And our solution is the following. Again, if we rewrite as minus 120, is less than or equal to 7x minus 11 is less than or equal to 120. We can add 11, so just as we did before. So now we're going to have minus 109 is less than or equal to 7x, which is less than or equal to 131. And then divide by 7, we're going to have minus 109 over 7 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 131 over 7. So as long as x is within that range, the equation is satisfied. Thanks for listening.